There had been some spring flooding along the Missouri and Mississippi, but that happened every few years. A couple of feet of river water on a few low-lying areas. The spring of 93 was nothing special. But miles upriver in Des Moines, Davenport, Dubuque, all along the upper Mississippi, the spring rains continued falling and the rivers began rising. A wet spring would evolve into a record-breaking summer. First it was an annoyance, then it became a major disaster, but new predictions put the Mississippi flood crest at 45 and a half feet in St. Louis. Our top story tonight at 10, a call is out tonight for more sandbaggers in South St. Louis. The city's fire chief sounded the call after seeing what you just saw, a new higher forecast for the Mississippi. Hundreds of families now face the very real possibility of losing their homes. The true impact of the levee break wouldn't be known until sunrise, Saturday morning, July 31st. As St. Louisans awoke to today in St. Louis, anchors Jeff Fowler and Gene Jackson showed the city and the nation some of the most incredible pictures we're ever likely to see. The Monarch levee broke at about 10.30 last night, sending water spilling into uh, an area of Chesterfield. It has flooded many farms. It has covered Highway 40 from just west of Clarkson all the way to Highway 94 in St. Charles. We are told in some places that the, uh, uh, the, the water is four to five feet deep along Highway 40. And my partner Gene Jackson is in Chopper 5 with Alan Barklage at this hour and they're over Highway 40. If you can see it, Gene, good morning. Jeff, that's the trick. Can you see it? It's tree line, and the water is almost up to the tops of the trees here in Chesterfield Valley. And this is in an area where there's not supposed to be water. So you can imagine the damage that's being done. And Jeff, the debris is, is just horrendous. There are floating crates, barrels with uh, who knows what's in them, uh, uh, cars, you name it. Gene, we can see just, or we just saw at the top of the screen, the Daniel Boone Bridge there. That gives people a pretty good perspective on the area we're talking about, then, yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, there's just no way to get near that bridge. No way. In fact, the entire section of Highway 40 is closed in both directions from the Daniel Boone Bridge back to almost Chesterfield Mall to Clarkson Road. As Saturday turned into Sunday, the attention of St. Louis and the world would turn to the bottomlands of Illinois. It would be a memorable day where the river would once again show its incredible power. The drama played out live on News Channel 5 as Jeff Fowler, Gene Jackson, and helicopter pilot Alan Barklage narrated the live pictures from Chopper 5 as it hovered over the Monroe County farm of Virgil Gummersheimer. There's an actual breach in the levee at the farmhouse and water's just flowing through it at a tremendous rate. Now the problem is, you know, they could probably have another hour or so up on the levee before too big of a problem, but if that levee starts to go, there's no telling how long the levee or how large of a stretch of the levee will break at one time. The difference between the levee break earlier and now as we come around the tree here, it's unbelievable how quickly this water starts coming through. It's digging a pretty good sized hole, probably five feet deep right now in front of where that, that levee was. And the sandbags are being washed right down in there with it. You can see it coming around the other side of the farmhouse now and filling up in front of some silos. Water is pouring through into this area. Yeah, it's, it's racing in there now, Alan. And uh, it, it's getting bigger by the minute. Before too long, this is going to be a major break in the levee. Uh, if Joe can pan over and show us the house, uh, I, I think you have to wonder whether the house is going to be able, the home is going to be able to withstand the force of the water. Here we go. Here goes a part of the shed that held and housed a lot of the animals. It's now washing away. You saw the walls collapse underneath and the roof and, and the contents are now washing away in that flood water. Uh, that house is uh, starting to go. Oh, Jeff, it's unbelievable. There it goes. Just now lifted off the foundation and it's just crumbling in the rapid and the violent waters here that are coming through this levee break three miles south of the Jefferson Barracks Bridge. We've watched the silos go, we've watched the barn go, we've watched a shed go, and now the house itself has been lifted off the foundation by these floodwaters. It's, it's just unbelievable. And this the is trees all... are actually snapping in two. 
as well. This is this is uh, it, it's just a tragedy. Alan, in relationship to what you've already shown us, maybe Joe can get a wider shot and, and look back the other way. How many other farms do we have there that might? Be okay, in we're gonna we're gonna bring it around and we'll show you as Joe comes wide. There's some farms out in the background there, and you can see that the, there's still farmland here, and this water just keeps heading towards the farmland as we come all the way around. There's another big farm that's, and some of these farms are, there's 10, 15, 20 feet of water in the farms already.